and a warm night as you can see by the beads of sweat on Jeremy Hellickson who loses his first batter on a four pitch walk and the three one to Bryant down low back to back walks have begun the ball game. Pitch to Rizzo inside ball four. Javier Baez with a chance to put the Cubs in the lead. The infield is back. Baez bounces it to third. Rendon's on his feet. They get one at second, and that's all they settle for as a run scores, and Chicago's on the board early tonight. A terrific play here by Rendon, one of the most underrated third basemen in the game. Here comes the 2-0 from Hellickson. Elmore lines one down the left field line. Fair ball bouncing into foul territory. Hayward racing toward third, playing it off the sidewall is Soto. It's a double for Albert Almora Jr. Nobody up in the Nationals' bullpen, however. Schwarber serves one into left center field. Run down nicely by Robles, tagging at third is Hayward, and it's 2 nothing Chicago. And a visual for the pitcher is where do I go inside? Very little room. 2-2 to Rizzo is hammered to the opposite field. Soto's back, and it's gone! So, guys, they try to get inside to Anthony Rizzo, and this is part of where crowding the plate just helps you so much as a hitter. It takes away, look at where Suzuki set up, look at where he misses. Guys, this pitch now becomes such a fat strike. The chopper, Baez was really deep for some reason, gets there and throws him out. And Javi's hurt. Oh boy. And he may have caught his spikes up, up a little bit right there. Boom. I'm trying to figure out if it's in he and the Cubs' best interest to continue tonight, as he's definitely addressing the right ankle. Looks like he's going to give it a try. Into the corner once more. Different pitcher, same result for Albert Almora Jr., a double down the left field line. That one bounces away from Suzuki, and it's a free 90 feet for Almora. Schwarber would like to add to his 14 RBI total. He hits a high fly ball into right field. Should be deep enough. Almost certainly it will be. The catch will be made by Eaton. Jogging into score is Albert Almora Jr., and the Cubs keep their pattern going, and now they lead 4 to nothing. Lead off hitter aboard for Parra, who struck out earlier. And there's a breaking ball that he lines into the right field corner. Suzuki will wrap around to third. Parra on his way to second. Hayward's throw is in time to get him as Parra slid off the bag. Might get a really good look at it here if Parra's hand does come off. I, I, I don't know. And the call stands. Now the set of the pitch. Dozier hits one toward the middle. Out there, the second baseman Descalzo in center field. The long throw to first. In time for the out. On the play, Suzuki scores. It's the Cubs four, the Nationals one. Now Elmora takes a wild pitch back to the screen and down to second goes Hayward. Here's another wild pitch bouncing away from the catcher Suzuki. And four to one, sixth inning, nobody out. Hendricks bunts, and Hen Hayward's going to try to score. He will. Great bunt play by Hendricks that scores the run. A longtime favor to Joe Matton. Squeezing home a run. With two strikes. Ball and two strikes to Schwarber. Sharply hit, smothered by Dozier. A fine play to Turner for one. Not in time to double off Schwarber. To Brian Dozier only a couple of years removed from a gold glove. First and third, and now Brian hits a looper, shallow right center field, going out, Dozier still going, and that's a base hit. Off the glove of Dozier, coming in the score is Albert Almora Jr., run scoring single, Chris Bryant, Cubs lead 6-1. to one. And Here's Joe Madden delivering the bad news, go get some ice, we'll need you the rest of the year. So here's Anthony Rendon now, a golden opportunity for Washington to... Swing a high drive, right center field, deep for Rendon. This one's way back, has a chance, and it's gone. A three-run homer for Anthony Rendon is his eighth of the year. And the Nationals have made this a two-run game. Soto with a ball that's crushed to right and off the wall. And that's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Another changeup, and this time Parra was looking for it. He bangs it up the middle. Runners at the corners. Parra's on his way to second as the throw in hits the backstop. Right, how Juan Soto doesn't score on that ball is beyond me. And watch his secondary, and then he comes back to second. Watch this. Boom. And he comes back. That little hesitation is the reason why he doesn't score. 
Fly ball out to shallow left that will retire the side. Brandon Kinsler will face Howie Kendrick. Here's Kinsler's pitch. Swing a long drive left center field. Back goes Schwarber, not going to get it. It's way back there and gone into the Cubs bullpen. And with one swing, it's now a one-run game. Paying attention to Eaton at first, and Rendon fights off the ball in his fists and lines it to Russell to retire the side. Hit it on the screws, but it found a glove. Russell on a well-hit ball to right center, chasing Robles, who makes the catch, crashing into the scoreboard. And held on to the ball in that red glove of his. That's a big play for the birthday boy, Victor Robles, turning 22 today. Celebrate your birthday with a collision face first into the wall. Here's a little dribbler toward third, charging as Bryant. Barehanding, tough play, throws to first, dug out by Rizzo in the backhand. Short hop, nice play by both men. And the 0-1 pitch, ground ball to Bright. He's got it, throws to Rizzo, and this ball game is over. The Cubs have won the ball game and the series.